What's up YouTube and welcome to this full walkthrough all achievements all trophies guide here in Norman's Great Illusion. So we're going to be doing three walkthroughs of this game. It's going to be pretty quick but it'll probably take you realistically like an hour to actually complete the game. So our first playthrough here we're just starting on day one. I'm kind of figuring out what I even need to do but basically every day starts the exact same. You need to put on your clothes and then go sit down and have breakfast with your family before heading out to work. The game pretty much is made up of two mini games: the driving mini game, which requires you to not crash your car, and then the work mini game, which is basically just a bunch of math problems. So I've linked down in the description a operations calculator that you can go ahead and use. On every math problem, you can actually pause the game in order to use your calculator, get the answer, and then hop back into the game in order to get the correct answer. But here on our first two playthroughs, we want to fail everything that we do. So after having breakfast, we're going to head to work, and when we're driving to work, we actually want to try and crash the car, or at least on the way to work, we're trying to get as close to crashing the car as possible. So basically, the way that this mini game works is you need to hit A, or whatever your input button is, when the line is inside of the green box. On the left side there, you can see that I'm actually wrecking the car, but I'm not going to completely destroy it before we get to work. We're going to do that on the way home. Now, at work, we have to do a bunch of math equations, but I want to get all of these wrong. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in zero and enter until I've gotten everything wrong and I get yelled at, basically. Then I'm going to have to send home, and on the way back home, I'm going to crash the car. So right there on our first day, we got three achievements or trophies all related to failing the game. Now when you get home from work, you actually have to go and sit and have dinner with your family, then you can change out of your clothes and head to bed to start the next day. On the next day, we want to pretty much do the exact same thing again, which is just crashing the car and ruining everything at work. There's a possibility that you have a choice here when you arrive at work. I'm going to choose step aside, but it really doesn't matter which choice you make. You will get an achievement or a trophy for making your first ever choice in the game. Now we're just going to continue with ruining everything at work and then crashing the car on the way home. Now this time, after having breakfast, when we go to leave for work, we're going to actually have a bunch of choices to make.
Now this time when we left for work we have a choice to make and the option we want to choose is get revenge on the factory owner. You will actually complete the game here, this is our first playthrough done, and we will get achievements and trophies for doing so. And then what we want to do is we want to do another playthrough exactly like the one that I just did so that we get to this option again. So now we've played the game through a second time, ruining everything, making sure to crash the car, get everything wrong at work, and this time we're going to choose the Join a Clandestine Marxist Study Circle. You will get an achievement or trophy for doing so, and right here I'm actually going to get the final achievement or trophy for getting all three endings. However, you won't get that yet because we haven't done the full playthrough. So that is going to be our third playthrough where we're actually going to play the game properly. So now on our third playthrough, every day starts exactly the same. We're going to change into our clothes, go and have breakfast with our family, and then head off to work. Except this time, we don't want to crash the car, and we want to do as great as we can at work. So this is where our operations calculator is going to come in, because you're going to need to actually get the math questions right. You're allowed two mistakes for the math questions per day, and as for the car, you'll see that the little meter on the left side of the screen, if you make any mistakes, it actually stays like that for your entire playthrough, so that little green bar that I just created there is going to be there for the rest of the playthrough. So you can actually end up wrecking the car by making mistakes across multiple days. Now when you finish your first day without making any mistakes by using the math calculator that I've linked down in the description, you will get an achievement or trophy for earning yourself a bonus. On the second day after you've driven yourself to work, you will get this choice and you want to choose the option of knocking the fugitive down. Continue getting your math questions correct and in the middle of the day you will have lunch and you will have a choice to demonstrate solidarity and vote for the NSP. Make sure that you choose that option. On the next day, as long as you continue doing everything right, you should get another choice to make and you want to choose the option of help organize the strike. On the next day when you're on your way to work, you will get this choice and you want to make sure that you choose get in your car and drive to work. That's the final choice. That will make sure that you actually get to work on time. Continue to not crash the car and complete the math questions and you will get this choice which you want to choose to support your colleagues and inform your superiors option. Then the next day you want to go ahead and choose inform the police just in case before heading to work. Continue doing everything correct and you should get a decision to make and you want to choose the option of leading them to the trainee. After a while of doing all of the math problems correct, you should eventually get an achievement or trophy for Employee of the Month for earning a promotion, and you will receive this little letter in the mail. Then on the next day, as long as you continue to do everything correct, you should get another option, and you want to choose to inform the police about this perpetrator. $100 for helping out the police. Day 276 is actually Christmas Day, so we're going to go ahead and have breakfast with our family, and then we're going to head out. But this time we're not actually going to work, we're going to a Christmas party. There's a little bit of story that goes on here, and then you will get an achievement or trophy when you return home called Merry Christmas for attending a Christmas party. Then on the next day when you arrive at work you're going to have a decision to make and you're going to want to choose to resign. You will get an achievement or trophy for doing so.
And then on the final day when you go to leave the house, you will get this option and you're going to want to choose to stay at home taking advantage of your exemption from military service. That will end your story, you will get your final achievements or trophies, and you should have everything in this game 100%. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. If it did, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more achievements, trophies, collectible guides, full walkthroughs of games, and a bunch of other things. Also, feel free to check out my Fortnite challenge guides if you're into that game. And until tomorrow, ta-ra.